Photo nerds, behold! Apple Pro Raw is finally on the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up, use it, and share everything I know about it. So let's do this. Before we jump in, please take a moment and subscribe to the How To Do It All channel for more weekly how-to videos. So, with the release of iOS 14.3, you can now take Apple Pro Raw photos on your iPhone. Specifically, you need an iPhone 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max to use the new feature. Sorry, owners of all iPhones ever in existence, including the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini, no Pro Raw for you. So, if you do have a 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max and are running iOS 14.3 or newer, here's how you can enable Pro Raw Photos. By default, the format is turned off, but to enable it, go into Settings, then Camera, then Formats, and under a new section called Photo Capture, there's a toggle to turn on Apple Pro Raw. Now, once it's on, go into the Camera app, and on the top right side, you'll see a new Raw button and you can toggle this on and off quickly so you can switch between Pro Raw photos and taking regular JPEG or ATIC photos. Pretty nifty. Now, some of you might be wondering, what is Pro Raw and why would I want to use it? Well, before iOS 14.3, if you took a photo on your iPhone, it saved as either a JPEG file or an HEIC file. Both are small, but allow for minimal edits after the fact. You could also take a raw photo on an iPhone, but you had to use a third-party app. Now think of a JPEG or HEIC file, kind of like a meal served to you at a restaurant. You're basically stuck with how the restaurant prepared the food and don't have many options on how to change it. In a JPEG file, your phone decides the color balance, the exposure, noise reduction, sharpening, and other aspects of the photo. Now, a raw file is more like a bag of groceries with all the ingredients you need to make a meal. You can customize a raw photo to look exactly the way you want and you have controls over sharpening, noise reduction, white balance, exposure. Now, this is where it all gets really interesting. The camera sensor in your phone is super tiny, especially when you compare it to larger sensors on a mirrorless camera or DSLR. And this means photos are gonna have a lot of image noise in a small dynamic range. To overcome that, when you take a JPEG or HEIC photo, they get a boost to fix those shortcomings in the form of Smart HDR, Deep Fusion, and Night Mode on your iPhone. Raw photos lack any of that computational help. This means you can either take a JPEG photo with the native iOS camera app, or take a raw photo using a third-party app without it. But, all of this changes with the addition of Pro Raw. Think of Pro Raw like one of those meal kits that gets delivered to your home. It not only has all the ingredients so you can customize it the way you want, but most of them are prepped and portioned to give you a bit of a head start. Pro Raw uses Smart HDR, Deep Fusion, and Night Mode processing, just like a JPEG, but you still have the nuance and controls of a RAW file. This is similar to how Google saves RAW files built from HDR Plus on its Pixel phones. Now, Pro Raw works on all four of the iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max cameras, and it's saved as a DNG file, which means it's widely supported on apps and software like Adobe Lightroom, Visco, Halide, Pixelmator, and many more. Pro tip. Pro Raw files are large. For example, I took a photo of the same subject using each file format on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The HEIC file was 5.2 megabytes. The JPEG was 6.8 megabytes. The RAW photo taken with the Moment app was 16.5 megabytes. And the Pro RAW photo was a whopping 34.7 megabytes. So just be cautious of how much storage you have on your phone. For me, I probably will still just take a lot of JPEG photos. But for those times when I want to take a picture that's more deliberate, or I want every drop of image data so I can edit it, I'm going to use Pro Raw. Pro tip! <laughs> when it comes to editing a Pro Raw file, you can use the built-in Photos app. Pro Raw photos have a new Raw tag on them, the same way an HDR video does or live photos. 
You can also use any number of third-party apps, pretty much any app that supports a DNG RAW file, and there's tons. In future updates to ProRAW, third-party apps will be able to use even more data from SmartHDR. Adobe Lightroom, for example, will be able to access layer map data from SmartHDR, so you can isolate different aspects of your photo, like faces and people and skies, when you edit. So that's all I got, but I wanna hear from you. Do you have an iPhone 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max? Have you used Apple Pro Raw yet? And do you have any tips or tricks you could share? If so, throw them in the comments. And last, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, keep your damn mouth shut. All right, let's, uh, let's take a ProRAW photo of my video setup. I'm sure people will be really interested in this. I'll share this all over the uh, internet. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a Pro. Here's a non-ProRAW one. Oh, really cool. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, they're big files, though. You shouldn't take that many photos.